Well, welcome. This is the first video, and I'm going to start off right from the start and just say that, uh, you know, I put all this together as sort of like a uh, tribute to Kay Elmer, who has been doing such great work on his Carbon 60 updates and uh, really motivated me to get, um, you know, my own batch going and kind of look at some of what I've been doing for the last few several months. But uh, let's get to it. So again, you know, I'll take this, you know, from Kay Elmer, you know, I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, and I am not endorsing any particular product. I don't sell C60 at the moment, depending on if I can get down, my system down um, and kind of put together a decent product with some consistent results, I may consider selling it. But um, but as of right now, I'm not, not uh, selling it. So don't ask me about it. Uh, I will let you know for sure if I if that's something I do get into. And also, I like you know, as with Kay Elmer, I am not a paid spokesperson, so I don't have any connections to any of the companies that I may be talking about today. Um, so some of the topics today, we're going to look at motivations. Why am I even doing this? Um, sourcing the carbon sixty. You know, Kay Elmer did a much better job than I can as far as going through all the providers that are out there. But I did look at several of them and. I kind of went with the easiest uh, one. I'm going to look at like how I made my first batch and look at my results of that. And I'm also going to talk about some health implications. I think one of the uh, issues that Kalmer brought up is that it's really important for us in this space to be thinking about how can C60 really help people. You know, this is about you know really changing humanity. If we get if we've got a product out there like this that can make a difference in people's lives. You know, we really need evidence of that. And so I'm actually trying to be a little more scientific about it. And I'll show you a little bit of uh, the 200-pound the rat in myself that uh, what kind of imp implications and considerations I'm having with my health. So, you know, some of my motivations, it's, it really is expensive to buy this stuff. And uh, those of you who are, are getting to this video, my sense is that you're probably uh, already gone through and... and tried it yourself or you've seen the pricing on some of these other uh, providers out there. And so I wanted to figure out, you know, let's see if I could find a cheaper way to, to make this stuff. And, and really, you know, I'm a creator. I, I love to get in and uh, make, the, make stuff and create stuff. I feel like I'm pretty smart. I can figure things out. I like the do-it-yourself do kind of mindset. And I love challenges. And so when I saw, you know, some of Kay Elmer's information and some others, um, I thought for sure I can do this. So, um, so we'll see. If I'm successful at this, I may decide to, to jump jump in and sell some of this. So some of the sourcing, I looked at SES Research, and uh, it, it was expensive. Um, they seem to have some cheaper rates. If you're a research person, you've got more funding. By larger quantities, you can get cheaper. Uh, Solaris, I, I found their website actually kind of confusing. Um, <clears throat> you know, like I say, I'm a pretty smart guy, but I didn't really like what I was seeing there. It was kind of hard to tell. Uh, which product was was the one, right one for me? And so when I went to Bucky Labs at the time, uh, their well, their website even still is is fine, straightforward. Um, <clears throat> but you know, if you get that for about one hundred and fifteen dollars a gram, they've raised their prices a little bit. Um, but I may be looking elsewhere as well. But this first batch that I'm going to talk about is from Bucky Labs. So this is the stuff I got a gram of it. Bucky Lab C60. Then this is the 99.95 purity. I have magnetic stir. I have the flask, and I found this Bragg's organic olive oil. And based on Kalmer's uh, contact, Martin over at Red Lion um, indicated that Karaniki olives are the best olives for olive oil. And so I thought, well, if I found and I found this great deal on Bragg's organic olive oil, I like the organic. And so I thought, hey, perfect. So we'll see how, we'll, I'll show you how this all turned out. And the equipment, basically, I, I went to Todd Olson's uh, video. He did a great uh, time-lapse video on his, his batch of C60 and the equipment that he recommended. So I kind of went with that. Now, the olive oil I got was 32 ounces. It was 900, so that's 946 milliliters, not a full thousand milliliters. So... I, in keeping with the saturation goal of eight milligrams per milliliter, 
I needed 756 milligrams of C60. Uh, now, when I measured it, it was so delicate, it was so hard to get it precise that I actually overshot a little bit. So I got 759 milligrams and I felt like, well, a little bit uh, over is not going to be a big deal. And I ended up stirring this batch for three weeks. And I initially was only going to do the two weeks based on the, the rat study. Um, but I didn't have all my filtering equipment last Saturday. So I, I said, well, you know what, or uh, two Saturdays ago. And so I said, you know what, let me just give it another week and, um, and we'll see what we get. Um, got through that. Vacuum filtered it with the 0.22 micron, you know, just as again as Todd Olson had kind of recommended and others. So, and on my setup downstairs, uh, I've got kind of a station and it's got this great pegboard. And, uh, you know, I was thinking I, I didn't want, if it's going to be stirring for two, three weeks, I didn't want anything happening to it. So I actually rigged the uh, pegboard so that it would actually brace the the flask. That might be a little overkill, but I just thought, you know, anything can happen. I don't have any animals that are going to get in there, but I just thought, let's just be safe. And you can see down there, I've got the magnetic little pill stir. And I was actually able to get the magnetic stir to, to spin at a pretty high rate. I know some people have complained about the, uh, the pill spinning off to the side, but if you creep that dial slowly, you can get it up pretty, pretty high. And I just got to a point where I was like, eh, I'm not going to chance it anymore. I got it, I got it going at a pretty high rate and I thought that would be good. And this is what the olive oil looked like beforehand. It's a pretty green color. And uh, again, you know, you can tell it was obviously not exactly the thousand. It's pretty high up there, but, um, and this is the, the results when I, 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 I was pretty excited because when I, um, finished the batch and I poured it into the filter, uh, I noticed that Kay Elmer had an issue where, um, he had a lot of residue. And, uh, when I finished this batch, I had like no residue. So this, it seemed like, like all of the C60, um, dissolved into the oil. So I was thrilled about it. And, uh, and if you can tell in the picture on the right, the uh, color is beautiful. I actually got this like reddish purplish kind of uh, hue and uh, I was pretty excited about that. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see, I've now been taking it a couple of days and uh, I love having this big batch available to me. It's the most I've had for the cheapest and I'm pretty excited about that. So I do want to get into a couple of uh, health concerns. You know, I, this 200 pound rat that's talking to you, um, I have hemochromatosis and hemochromatosis is uh, commonly uh, referred to as iron overload disorder. And it's a situation where my body doesn't know when to stop absorbing iron. And I had heard that C60 was something that uh, might be able to help people with heavy metals. And so I, I took it upon myself to get my blood tested and I have some results that I'm going to share. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't think ahead when I started taking C60. Otherwise, I would have gotten blood work done before I even started. And I think that would have given a more scientific result. But I do think that uh, the results here are kind of interesting. Um, so the other health concerns, you know, I had some other blood work done uh, in the past and I had some uh, pretty high cholesterol going for a while. And I can't tell you that C60 actually is the thing that brought that cholesterol down because I've changed some things in my diet and, uh, and some different things. And so I, I do think that more, maybe more attributed to uh, eating healthy and having a healthier lifestyle, but uh, and it's possible. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, and then, you know, like anyone else, I, you know, I'm in my early forties and I'm looking for more energy and more longevity and we'll see, see how this, we'll keep this party going as long as we can. So just some basic kind of results here. Um, when you look, uh, the first line there, ferritin is the common uh, term used when, when looking at iron overload. And so, you know, back in March, unfortunately, March 2015 at the time, I did not have that tested. So I don't have a good number. And that was the last time, that was the first blood uh, work I had done uh, in a while at that point. Um, so the most recent, uh, or not the most recent, but the the early 2018 results there, my ferritin was at 300. Now, the one disappointing thing is, you know, of course, I just had my blood done again because I wanted to see 
what kind of results uh, I might get. And it looks like yeah, the ferritin actually went up a little bit. So I can't say that uh, definitively C60 can make an impact on the ferritin numbers for people with hemochromatosis, but you know, I don't know if I'd have to take like a gargantuan amount for it to really uh, impact that. But I will find, it is interesting, I, will, I did find that the uh, saturation level, that's the percentage down just below ferritin, it did go down this last, this last uh, blood test. So uh, hard to say, I, you know, may, maybe it affects the saturation, maybe that saturation point gets down and then the ferritin uh, for that point goes down, uh, it's hard to say. Um, but if you uh, kind of look down at some of these other issues, you can see, you know, cholesterol back in 2015 was on the higher side. My doctors were a little more concerned about that. Uh, but, you know, through lifestyle changes and other things, you can see it's gone down at the at January 2018 mark. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't test cholesterol and triglycerides, HDL, LDL, uh, at this April 2018 uh, blood work. But uh, needless to say, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy, uh, you know, overall with, with the blood work there. But... I wish I could tell you that 660 uh, does do um, more for the, the iron, but uh, not, not to this point. So we're going to keep at it and see what happens. But uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, my first batch of C60, some health considerations. You know, I'll certainly follow up with this video um, with, with my, other, my other findings and, and certainly other batches. I am looking to get some uh, C60 from Red Lion. You may try another batch. And I'm anxiously awaiting Kay Elmer's work to see how he does with his uh, process, which he has explained is uh, a little more intricate. So, but again, I like a challenge and I'm hoping that uh, I can get into this and we'll keep, keep at it. Uh, if you care to follow me on Twitter, you can see my handle down there, Bry Flats. I go by B Real. And uh, you may find me there. Um, and certainly if you, if you appreciate this video and you, you like, like what I had to do here, again, I did kind of a tribute to Kay Elmer here and I kind of copied his style. And, uh, but if you did like it, I appreciate it. If you hit like and certainly subscribe, I'll be, you know, I'm into a lot of different stuff. So, you know, like I, I, I will share some other videos and I, I may do some other tribute style videos here too with some of the other people I follow. But uh, again, yeah, I know... No, no offense there. I, I, I hope Kalmer appreciates it. Again, this is uh, Bry Flats, and I will check you guys later.